experience in abundance, love and light, health and wholeness, stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness, stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all, operating at your truest, authentic, radiant, and better version of yourself. Um, we're gonna get right off into the arch animal oracle deck. I don't have plans to be here long. Just I was battling with even coming through, but they say when when you when you led to do something but don't feel like doing it. That's when you should do it anyway. So pretty much, it's been a long, hot, sunny today. So pretty much everything that I had to do, I've been doing it from that from that space, just to be honest with y'all. But let, let alone, we've been getting it done, you know, as, as things come up. I'm feeling good for no reason at all right now. Um, today's Animal Oracle message will come from the eagle and the eagle is advising us to seize opportunities courageously sometimes when opportunities present itself to us they could be it could be bigger than we imagine or sometimes it could be just something that we never have imagined and a lot of times we don't have the courage to pursue the opportunity we may figure that we may feel like the opportunity is bigger than us when if the opportunity was bigger than us, it would have never appeared to you. Seize opportunities courageously. And I'm sure that's speaking to all of us in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Seize opportunities courageously. So we're gonna see what the, aim, the eagle have to say. Eagle. Seize opportunities courageously, Archangel Baki. About eagles, these magnificent birds come from Lakume, the ascended aspect of Sirius, and have ascended into the fifth dimensional frequency. Therefore, whether they are large or small, they have individual and they are. Pardon me. Therefore, whether they are large or small, they have individualized and are no longer part of a group soul. Eagles soar serenely over the world. Reveling true mastery of the air while they spread keys and codes from Lakume over places where the eagles direct them. They teach about the power of serenity and control, which reminds us to relax and flow with the currents of life. Wow. Eagles also fly with great courage directly into storms and use the thermals as opportunities to fly higher. These impressive birds have incredible eyesight and focus and focus it with intent and awareness as they seek their prey. As you watch the eagle fly high, you see his magnificence. This enables you to recognize your own ascended glory. Guidance. This is the card of the visionary who focuses with clarity and awareness on the objective. You are advised to be very clear about what you want to achieve or manifest. You are advised to be very clear about what you want to achieve or manifest. View it from the most enlightened perspective so that your intention is for the supreme good. Be watchful and aware of everything that is happening. Remain motivated so that when you are ready for action, you will move fearlessly and tenaciously. Treat challenges and seeming setbacks as opportunities to raise your game. See, treat challenges and seeming setbacks as opportunities to raise your game. Constantly remain calm, center, and serene no matter what you are presented with. When you do this, when you do this, you will always stand in your power. People will see your ma ma people will see your majesty and will respect and honor you and your vision. Be aware of your own divine splendor. Mm. Synchronicity. In this world, 
we we have the opportunity to view, witness, and sometimes possess many wonders, many possessions. But within this world, there are many wonders and many possessions that we don't know all it contains. There are some things that hold, I said that to say this, there are some things that hold no value unless we give it away in this world. What has God given you? What has Source Divine, the ancestors? What have they passed on to you that's meant for you to give away? We have been given something, each and every one of us, so we can give it back to life, give it back to the world in a way that no one else can. So what has God given you? What has your ancestors passed on to you that was given them from the divine? I ask that because if you're not here because it's all about you, then you're probably here for the wrong reason. The journey of life with all its ups and downs is like a roller coaster ride, full of emotions. Yet, life teaches us to take risks. Life teaches us to recognize the things that we can't control as well as the things that we can't. Life allows us to make errors so that we can make the best decisions and find a way to move forward through our mess and mistakes and awareness so that we don't repeat them again. Life teaches us to be easy on ourselves eventually. So with all that said, allow yourself to live life or allow yourself to live the life that life gave you to live by allowing life sometimes. We don't always have to be in control. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Feel good for no reason at all. I rock with y'all for rock with me. I am your host and co-pilot, Saul the God. Peace, family. I love y'all.